before we can do any programming, we have to create a new Rust project. Well, technically we don't have to, but we're going to because it makes things so much easier. And we're going to do that using Cargo. Inside your newly created project, you'll have one file and one directory. The file cargo.toml contains all the information about your project, the meta information, such as version number, you know, name of the binary and so on and so forth, right? And the source directory contains, unsurprisingly, the source code. Inside the main RS file, there is a main function. The main function is the entry point of the program. You cannot rename this function. If you do, the program will no longer compile. And in the body of the main function, we have a print line macro. And the reason we're using a macro rather than a function is because Rust does not have variadic functions. And finally, we can run our program using cargo run. And we can see hello world printed to screen and you're well on your way of becoming a rockstar developer.